guys, welcome back. We are one year into our financial independence journey. What are the five things that we think we've done really well? Stick around and we'll let you know. Hey guys, welcome back. We are Jeanne and Christine. If you are new here, we are a Canadian couple in our mid-late forties. Okay, I think we should change that. Okay. We should be a Canadian couple in our early late forties. Okay. We are a Canadian couple in our early late forties living in okay. Toronto, Canada. <laughs> And as you know, this is the channel where we share with you our journey to financial independence. In 2024. So... I haven't finished the introduction yet. But there you go. <laughs> she screwed up my script. But there you go. So she thinks that it's going to be 2024. I still think it's 2028. And you have a stamp saying, yes, you can go for 2024. We keep debating. She might be right. <laughs> But either way, if you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. We love you know, getting content and creating content for you. Please do us a favor, it's a way that we can spread the word about financial independence and it's more important now, what have we learned on our first anniversary inch of fire? We basically jumped feet first into the COVID downturn market at the end of May 2020. Um, so now we're one year later, and what are the five things that we've learned that I think we've done pretty well in, and I think may help others going forward in their financial journey? All right, number one is mindset. Yeah, mindset's really important. I think we did that one really well. If you're not ready for this journey, um, I feel like you might give up halfway through. It's not yeah. easy. It's no. very easy to get discouraged. A lot of things don't go right. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it feels like you're going backwards. Yes. But if you have the right mindset and you're mm -hmm. continuously learning and discovering new ways of achieving that financial independence goal that you're looking for um, and staying positive, I think yeah. that's how we got to where we are. Exactly. And it is kind of overwhelming, at least it was for me uh, in the beginning, you know, trying to get things ready for first one. This is what I'm going to do, go, you know, year one, year two, year three, so on and so forth. It's a lot of information. So don't get discouraged mm -hmm. by anything. Keep you know, improving and making small steps, which is going to give you... Yeah, I think the small steps give you the biggest results. It doesn't seem like a lot, yeah. right? But the continuous learning or the tweaking of your investment here or the selling of this investment there, yeah. um, adding more money into it, it's all mm -hmm. it all adds up at the end of the day. So number two is willing to have an open conversation with your partner and uh, willing to take risk. And those two really go together for us because if you, we can't talk to each other about where our money is going, what we've spent our money on, how we want to spend our money and invest it, uh, this financial independence journey wouldn't work for us. And part of that open conversation about where our money is going is willing to take risk. How much risk am I comfortable taking and how much is Jian comfortable taking? And we never invest more than the risk tolerance of our, our spouse or our partner. Um, and that risk really came into play when we had took all of the equity in our home and <laughs> threw it into a stock market that was plummeting due to COVID. Uh -huh. um, so for us, that's the biggest risk we've taken so far. And it's really panned out, but it was the only way we were going to reach financial independence starting this journey in our 40s. I think we did that well. <clears throat> we did. We yeah. certainly did. Number three is paying off debt. So this is something that we did back in 2019. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to link the video right here. So back in 2019, uh, we had around $60,000 mm -hmm. in consumer debt. So this is the first thing that we had to get rid of. Lots of conversation was not uneasy at the beginning, so go up and take a look on the video so we have more details about it. But not only that, it's also knowing where the money is going to. If you don't know where your money is going to, you're gonna have, you know, difficulties because you might not even know where you can cut and where you can optimize your finances every single month. We don't have a budget, but we track everything so you know where our money is going to and we know where we can improve more yeah every month we sit down and we go through line by line everything we spent on our credit card 
um, so we can account for it in our spreadsheet. And we still go out for dinners and we still buy the steaks and we do all of that, yeah. but we're conscious of where our money goes and we don't pay for the conveniences anymore. We don't no. go out and buy coffees every morning. We make our coffee. We don't buy lunches at work. We bring our lunch. We don't mm -hmm. pay for a gardener or a cleaner, or take our car to the car wash. We do it ourselves and that saves so much money. It does. Yeah. It really does. It really helps. So, pay off that if you don't know where to start. Give us a shout. We'll talk to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll help you out. Number four. I am excited to talk about this topic, which is support from the community. As of today, our family, they don't know hi family that we have this channel, but you guys do, so hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's spread the word about fire. Uh, this is where we go, right? So that's, we didn't have answers for everything, so that's how we found those answers. And we are going to link the comments below where you can find them. The first one is podcasts. Yeah, so some of the podcasts that we listen to uh, here in Canada are Explore FI Canada. Uh, Chrissy and Money Mechanic do a great job. They've got tons of great content um, and yes. they're quite entertaining. <laughs> they are. And we were interviewed by them back in 2019. Look at, listen to our podcast, you know, and you can even compare how we were and how we are now. We keep investing, we are keep learning, so mm -hmm. I guess it's all about the journey, right? But not only them, we also have the FI Garage, you know, the guys out as which love beer, so you're going to have a great time listening to them. And we also have the Rational Reminder, great content as well. Not only podcasts, but what about Facebook? Same thing, uh, we, we follow or we're a part of a few Facebook groups, um, Choose FI Canada and Choose FI. Uh, both of them, great content. It's just regular people talking about what they're doing, mm -hmm. giving you potential options. Um, you can take that advice or do your own research, it's mm -hmm. all very important. But it's it's just information for you. Yeah, the community is great. You're not going to be blamed for your questions or not, so feel free to go and take advantage. So that's how we keep learning. Mm -hmm. We also learn from blogs, a lot of great content out there. We have a few of them that are going to link. The first one is my own advisor from Mark, Mark Seed. We also have Eat, Sleep, Breathe FI, and that's Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy's she's, everywhere in the FI community. She's all over she's the place. Great, great um, job. Yeah, so bubbly and full of energy yeah. and full of amazing information. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, and then we've got the Modern Family. It's a Canadian, Canadian U.S. couple actually. Yes. So they've got some really good U.S. and Canadian content, different th different um, mm -hmm. look on Fi, and they're really great as well as the Million Dollar Journey. Yeah, Million Dollar Journey was actually the first blog that I started, you know, reading back in 2014 or 2015. It's already Fi good content that we're gonna find. So. We also have stock trades, which is, you know, uh, the guys here, Dan, they do a great job with dividend stocks for Canada, but also the dividend diplomats, where, you know, every single month, Larry, he posts the dividends received from dividend income investors across the globe, so you can find also other blogs going there. Mm -hmm. And then YouTube. So, yeah, there's us here, but there's so many great YouTubers out there that have so many great stories and a lot of information for you guys. Yeah. So we've broken it down into US, Canadian and global. So our US YouTube channels that we really like to follow and we really enjoy are Our Rich Journey. And that's the, uh, they're great. I mean, I think probably most people... You might know them. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're a, a couple that retired in their 40s and actually currently moved to Portugal and are living there with their children. <clears throat> we also have another great one, which is Road to FI. We have uh, the Moon and Resolution and we also have the Debt Free Debt. Hey Marcus, Marcus, a great content, really fun guy and congratulations as we are recording today. We know that we just you know reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Go check them out, so great yeah. content. Good job. Canadian guys. content. Oh, Canadian content. We love these girls. Our freedom years. It's basically what Jeanne and I want to do. These two have reached financial independence and they're slow traveling the world uh, with their two small dogs. So yeah. it's great. It's fun to see where they're going and uh -huh. they also do a budget breakdown so you're you're able to kind of plan financially. Exactly. Hello Normentina. Oh. We love Normentina <laughs> from this is our journey. Oh sorry, okay. this is our retirement. They are already retired. They are just enjoying life and having, you know, lots of fun with their YouTube channel. 
the Joe's Fish I guess is training your 25,000 subscribers so good for you great content as well we also have Brandon Brandon Beavis and K4 Financial so go check them out great content mm -hmm. we are gonna have lots of fun yeah K4 Financial is really a great resource for like accounting type needs and stuff like yes. that he's again Hilarious. Fun. So fun, fun guy. Uh, and the last one is a global one that we've recently discovered. Um, they're actually pretty new to YouTube as well. Yeah. And it's a UK couple that have reached financial independence. And actually this week, I believe, they got on a plane yeah. and they've gone to Mexico. It's their first country and they are also slow traveling the world and going to break down their budget um, every week to let you know how they're spending their money, how much it's costing, stuff like that. So great channel. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's current, right? It's happening yes. as we speak. And as you can see, lots of great content out there. Your content as well. So your opinion, you know, how you're doing with fire is also important. So go check them out and use the chapters, not the chapters, act, use the comments below to add your own channel. You are more than happy to connect with you and keep learning. Mm -hmm. And the fifth thing that we think that we've done really well over the past year is being 100% uh, DIY investors. At the beginning of 2020, we had a financial advisor. We were paying into high cost mutual funds. We were paying fees that we didn't understand. Um, mm -hmm. And we got out. We got out. We took control of our money and we are 100% DIY investors. We make our decisions. We decide where the money is going. Yeah. We know where the money is, yeah. and most importantly, we are in control, right? Yeah. So it's our mistake if we make them. And we've changed course, right? Like I think yeah. that that's, that's something else that we've learned through the DIY investing and through the groups and the support and the community yeah. and the open conversation and all of that together. Our plan in May of 2020 was very different than our plan yes. today in June 2021 and that's something that's going to continue to change as we go forward too. yeah exactly which is the support from you guys right the questions that you ask make us think and stop and say oh mm -hmm. I guess that you should consider this I guess that you should consider that which yeah but yeah being DIY investors we're able to make those changes and we're not having to wait or rely on somebody yes. else to do it for us so uh -huh. DIY investing is for us one of the biggest reasons why we are where we are right now and within that DIY investing, it's finding extra ways to make a little bit of money, either through Jean's capital gains plays, and again, goes back to your risk tolerance and yes. what you're willing to mm -hmm. risk, um, and just different ways where you might be able to find extra money on the side and, and throw it into your investments. Every little bit is really yeah. making a difference. By the way, most of the money that you are making now on top of your our salary comes from Inside Hustle, that Christine is having lots of fun. I do nothing other than I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you now. Wait for other videos on yeah. this content, but we are having fun. I guess that's the most important thing, right? Yeah, it's just a little experiment to see how um, spending some time doing something that you enjoy and yeah. getting some money from it is gonna actually accumulate and grow. So we'll get into that so in another it's video. Like a plan. But yeah. So just to recap. Five things that we think we've done really well this past year are having the right mindset. Yeah, I have my paper here. <laughs> so it's really to take risks and have an open conversation with your partner. That's number two. Number three. Paying off debt and knowing exactly where our money is going. Number four. Support from you. Support from our community. Yeah. No, no, I was just going to yeah. say that's probably one of the biggest things. Because it is. whenever yes. we were unsure of what we were doing, we went to you guys. We looked at blogs, read posts, everything like that, and it's really kind of given us the confidence to move forward. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And number five? DIY investing. God, I love it. I think love I think I actually found a passion for it uh -huh. that I didn't know existed before. I'll call Jayon in the middle of the day when I'm at work and like, oh my god, BNS is up to be sell. <laughs> so I don't know. It's fun. And it's another thing that we get to do together. And it's just made us a stronger yes. couple, I think, too. It did. Yeah. So those are the five things. We hope it helps you guys. We feel like it's really helped us this year. And let us know in the comments below. Is there anything else that you think we could have done differently? Is there anything that you've found works for you that you'd like to share with us and everybody else? Yeah. Thank you. And thanks for letting us be part of your journey. Have Stay well. Week. Stay safe. Bye. Yeah. So we jumped into the market basically May 29th. 2019. No, 2020. Cool.
Friday, yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, it was a huge thing. Um, but we didn't get discouraged. We kept moving forward. We kept... Mm -hmm. I know that the $60,000 is here. It's separate. Okay, so. But not only the mistakes, we also have more. Control, I guess that's the word. Okay. Uh, we have to die stop. We also have more. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have more? Uh, control. <laughs> now I know the answer. <laughs> I wasn't surprised before. <laughs> yeah, we have more control. We're the ones. Yes. We are going to send the bloopers, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. 